Lincoln and divorce. Abraham Lincoln handled at least 147 divorce cases during his 25 years as a lawyer. One in Shelby County also concerned the ownership of land. William Stewartson and Mary Jane Dawson, both English immigrants, married in 1848. She purchased 43 acres of land with money that she brought into the marriage. After two years, their marriage disintegrated and William left, moving with his son from a previous marriage. Mary Jane sold off some of William's possessions, buying a 40-acre tract of land. In 1852, Mary Jane hired Lincoln, filing for divorce on the grounds of desertion. William responded that she was impossible to live with and constantly betrayed him. A jury, ruled for, a jury ruled for Mary Jane and awarded her $50 per year alimony, but left open the question of the ownership of the two parcels of land. In another lawsuit the following year, Lincoln continued to represent Mary Jane in order to resolve ownership of, this, of the land. The court reduced her alimony to $30, ruled that Mary Jane keep the land purchased with her money, and that she transfer to William the land purchased with his money. Okay. This here is a picture of the land Mary Jane Stewart had purchased with William Stewart's money. And this is a picture of the land Mary Jane Stewart had purchased with the money she brought into the marriage. The land was situated halfway between Shelbyville and the current town of Strasburg. After the Illinois Supreme Court case, Mary Jane Stewartson sold her 43 acres of land to her stepson, William Stewartson Jr., and moved to Peoria, where she died in 1883. William Stewartson remained in Shelby County, where he died in 1864. William Stewartson Jr. continued to accumulate significant amounts of land, and he donated a tract that became the village of Stewartson in 1874. Disappointed in the Shelby County Circuit Court's decision, Mary Jane Stewartson continued to employ Lincoln and appealed the judgment to the Illinois Supreme Court. Stewartson was only one of three Shelby County cases that Lincoln handled in Springfield. The Supreme Court agreed with the Circuit Court's decision that Mary Jane received a fair settlement. While Mary Jane may have been a difficult person, she understood the value of land in earning an income. Since paper money fluctuated in value wildly and hard money was scarce, land was a valuable commodity in early Illinois. A married woman typically had no rights to buy and sell land because her status as an individual became assumed by the husband upon marriage. As an abandoned wife in this case, Mary Jane was forced to become an independent person, wisely investing in real estate. And this is some kind of paper on the divorce of Mary Jane Stewartson and William Stewartson. All right.